So this answer is probably typically longer uh, than you would like for these segments. But um, so USPAP, which is the Uniform Standards of Professional Appraisal Practice, requires that the appraiser who's accepting the assignment is competent to um, to complete that assignment in a credible manner. And so uh, that is usually being done up front. So we can pull some public records information. We know the geographic area of the property. Uh, maybe we know the size uh, and the um, the value range of that uh, neighborhood, for example. And from there, we can determine if, number one, we uh, our scope of our license will allow us to appraise that property. In other words, if you're licensed only, which doesn't really apply for FHA anyways today, um, is the transaction value, does it exceed my license level? Uh, complexity comes in all forms. Um, complexity isn't just those giant jumbo loans, right? And the giant houses, if you will. Complexity could be a very simple 600 square foot, one bedroom, one bath house, right? If there's an absence of comparable. So the appraiser is going to look up that kind of information and determine if they can proceed. Once they accept the assignment, they're going to continue the research process. Uh, again, trying to identify the relevant property characteristics and what seems credible or not. For example, what's the size of the property? That generally doesn't change. They may see remarks in an MLS listing or public records. Maybe there's a discrepancy uh, or, again, comments that say there's an addition on the house. Now the appraiser is questioning, is it truly X square feet or is it X plus Y, right? Um, and so now their research uh, may expand from there. And then, of course, when they go to the property, it's more about uh, confirming the information that maybe they've already learned um, or learning more about the property. And they do that through their physical inspection, their on-site inspection. Um, and for FHA and HECMS, that means doing things to confirm property acceptability criteria are met uh, under the handbook 4001. So testing, uh, testing is not the right word, but operating uh, a sampling of lights and the water and flushing uh, toilets and um, accessing the attic and crawl space, those kinds of things, that's what the appraiser's doing. All of that is really very small uh, and short in the process. The bulk of the work is done once all of that is completed and now the appraiser has to put pencil to paper, if you will. Complete that appraisal report on the form, make sure all their uh, I's are dotted and their T's are crossed.